Hello grade 8s and welcome to lesson 7.3 reflections and rotations found on page 230 of your textbooks. Uh, the goal is to graph the results of reflections and rotations on a coordinate grid. Okay so write that down very important all right and uh, make a heading with this on it all right and you're good to go. All right question is determine the coordinates of the image of triangle ABC after reflection in the x-axis followed by a reflection in the y-axis. So basically you're going to flip this triangle in here, okay, over the x-axis, all right, and then you're going to flip it again over the y-axis, all right, that's why reflection in the x-axis means you're flipping over that line and you throw it over that line. So basically you take it, it's like a pancake, and you're going to move it over there the exact same distance from the axis points, okay? So basically C is going to end up here, all right? Now B is on 4, you're going to go to negative 4, okay? You're going to go negative 4 right there, okay? I didn't do C right, so let me do that properly, okay? All right. All right, and you're going to go, because it's on 1, so it's going to go there, okay, and A is also on 4, and it's going to go there. So it should look something like that, like that, and like that. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, look, I am. All right, so basically what's happening here? The coordinates of the image after reflection in the x-axis are A prime. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a second. Okay. Um, A, 2, negative 4. B, 7, negative 4. And C, prime, sorry, 6, negative 1. All right, and you'll notice, the important thing to notice here is it is the same distance from the axis, okay, from the x-axis. All right, so that's on 4, now you're negative 4, so it's the opposite, so it's the same amount, so it's about an 8 point swing. Same with this, this is on 1, so it's only 1 away, so you take it and you flip it, the exact same distance it was from the x-axis. Same with the y-axis, it's on 2, well now it swings over to negative 2. That's what you have to remember, the same amount are the same distance from the axis lines is how far you move it. That's all you're doing. All right? Just that's it. All right? 2 to 2. 2, negative 2. Done. All right? What is this? 6, negative 6. Done. Easy stuff. Okay? And here's your coordinates right here. All right? Write these down because this will be a question. Write all those down. All right? Good. All right. This one's a little, a little more tricky. Let's take a look at this next one here, okay? Take a look at this next one. Determining image coordinates after a rotation. Triangle ABC has vertices of A, 2 to 4, B, 7, 4, and C, 6, 1. Determine the coordinates of the image of triangle ABC after a rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So where? Are you rotating it around the origin? Zero, zero. Right there. Which direction? Counterclockwise. This direction? No, that's clockwise. Direction counterclockwise is opposite of clock. All right, how are you going to do this? Now, as illustrated here, for just A, it's 90 degrees. So you're going to take your protractor, which I was playing around with for a while before actually getting it to work. So basically, what you want to do. All right, here's your original square triangle, triangle, three sides, triangle. All right, and let's look at A. So what you want to do is you want to put your protractor right there. The middle of your protractor goes right there, and you're measuring 90 degrees. All right, that's on your 90 degrees. Notice the square, 90 degrees. All right, you take your protractor, and I've already set it up. You put it down right in the middle. All right, boom, there it is. Okay. And there you go. So you measure everything 90 degrees. Okay, it's right on the 90, give or take a couple seconds, you know, a couple of degrees here and there, but 
you know, this is on the whiteboard. Not as easy to do this, okay? You can be a little more precise when you are using the paper and your protractors, okay? And you do this for every one, okay? You do the same thing for C, measure 90, and that. Guaranteed that to that is 90 degrees. B, from there to there, is 90 degrees. All right, your new coordinates, A prime, negative 4, 2, B, negative 4, 7, and C prime, negative 1, and 6. You just take your protractor, and you measure everything off 90 degrees, and that's how you do it. Where do you put your protractor? Right on the origin, because that's what they tell you to. How far do you move it, or is by how many degrees they're asking you, and in what direction is counterclockwise. So there's only two directions clockwise or counterclockwise. So you got everything you need there. How far, what direction, and how, where do you move? Put the protractor on the origin. All right? Okay? You will be asked to use any, any um, angle. But right now, they're giving you the option here. Same thing, 180. All right? Put your protractor right in the middle, and you move it 180. Okay, there's A to there is 180. D to D is 180. It's basically a straight line. Very, very simple stuff, people. Okay, very simple stuff. I'm not going to ask you for these coordinates because I'm just giving you an illustration. That this is 180 degrees. Each one is 180 degrees away from each other. Okay, everything there. Okay, good. Everything is good. Everything is well. Thank you very much. Last one. Last one. All right. Sometimes you're going to be asked to make a line of your rear arm. Line of reflection. This is your line of reflection. How does one make a line of reflection? I'm going to show you. All right. Here's your question. Here's your question. Back to reflections again. Okay. But you're going to be asked to make a line of reflection as opposed to the y-axis or the x-axis being your line, which it has been before. So there's nothing new here. This is nothing scary, nothing terrible. You can handle this. All right, so triangle ABC has a vertice of A31, B73, <clears throat> and C60. Plot the image triangle ABC after reflection in the line that passes through the origin and 1, 1. There is what you need to know right there. How do you make your line of reflection? Through the origin and 1, 1. So there's your origin. So what you would do is you take your pen, pencil, there's your origin. 1, 1, 1, 1 is what that means. Okay? 1, 1. And there you go. Then you take your ruler and you pass through these line through these points that you made and you go across as far as you want okay as far as you want and then here's your original shape <clears throat> okay now how far is a from the line well it's one unit where's a prime one unit beautiful where is it here Okay, you know, it's about three. Same thing. Equal. Just like in the first example. Equal distance from the line to the point. And it's no different if you're using the x-axis or y-axis or you make a line of your own. What I'm doing, what I'm trying to illustrate here is how do you make a line of reflection. And they're telling you right here. You make it through the origin and 1, 1. There you are. Origin, 1, 1. You make your line. And then you wrote you reflect, reflect it. Nice and easy. Same distance from the line to the point on both sides. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll talk soon. See you in class.